Hello, I'm Edward Tart. This is November 8th, 2014, and I would like to introduce you to my uh, fairly new friend, Ruslan. Uh, Ruslan and I began our friendship in a very strange way, didn't we, Ruslan? Oh, yes, Edward. That was kind of weird situation, uh, which actually happened maybe like three or even... Yes, it was actually three months ago. That was in the, I believe it was in the beginning of the August or something around that time. Okay. Can't remember exactly when it has happened, but uh, I was, I was talking on my phone so loudly that people who were in their apartments even were able to hear. Yes, you, that were, you were outside <laughs> near my near my apartment door. Yes, that's exactly how how it was. So. I can say that I was yellowing, <laughs> talking, talking on my phone, and that's how you said me. <laughs> can you please talk a little bit softly, more softer, that people can't hear you being in their own apartments? Uh, actually, I said <laughs> you're, you're talking too loud. I can yeah, hear you in my apartment. Exactly, exactly. That what you said, and I was, oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. I didn't mention. I didn't mean that. Sorry. And I. What. What I decided to do is just to go into the center of the yard. We have this rectangular yard, and I thought that if I will be in the center of the yard, then no one who is in their apartment, so they are in, they are uh, on the perimeter or even above the perimeter of the apartments. So was there a. <laughs> A comfortable chair for you to sit in there. Oh, the there was, <laughs> there wasn't a comfortable chair for me. I was sitting on the curb. So, oh, curb. <laughs> but, but that was my mathematics approach. I decided to move myself far from the perimeter, and the farthest possible point is in the middle where the diagonals are crossed. <laughs> so that. That was the mathematics approach. Don't you agree with me, yes. Edward? So, to, to make a long story short, I, a little later, I, I well, I, I went in my car and did some shopping, and I came back and saw you on the curb, and I said to myself, is he going to sit on the curb for hours and hours? So I took pity on you. Uh, yeah, the thing is, when, when you first time, when you decided to leave your apartments uh, and to drive somewhere, I... I, uh, I I attended you again and said, sorry, I didn't mean that. I, I, I apologize for me being so loud. And you said, that's all right, that's okay. And uh, when you were back, I was still sitting on the curb. And then you decided to, to attend me and ask me why I'm still sitting on the curb for all this time and how long... Uh, how 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 long will I see? Will I continue that? And I've and I've explained to you the situation I'm in. <laughs> you had a problem in your apartment. Oh yes, we did. Actually, me and my uh, roommate, we had we had this problem at those times. The problem was, in a word. The problem was... The problem was, in the word of bugs. Bugs, <laughs> Yeah, yes. it was a lot of bugs. So we decided to do, to, to do a, a, a pest control uh, on Saturday because we are not able to, to... We weren't able to do, the, to do it within the week. We were a pretty right. busy schedule. So uh, we did this pest control. And what they say is that after you just did it, you should be out of that area for at least three or four hours. So, being so. not able to go somewhere else, I just decided to spend this three or four hours in the yard. So, what did I do? Did I just say to myself, well, I have my, I have my stuff to do, let him stay there. No, you kindly invited me to your apartments and you were like, "Oh, I'm not going to <laughs> I'm not going to see you sitting in your in in the middle of the yard for next 3 or 4 hours, so you kindly invited me to your and apartments." I, I I invited you to sit in my easy chair and we started talking. Yes, and, and we that's found out that we 
had, it, had some common interests. <laughs> yes, that's exactly how, how I can say that when 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 you invited me to your apartments, that was a signal that we invited each other to our lives. Uh -huh. That that's what I would prefer to call it after after this three months passed already. So it wasn't just inv an invitation to to an apartment. It, it, it was originally. Yeah. It but was. It, it, kind of expanded or blossomed into a, yes, a larger invitation. yes yes exactly that's that's the way i understand it with after three months passed through that and did we did we uh, discover that we have <clears throat> common values or a common view of reality oh the thing is uh, i can't remember what was our first conversation about but what i realized shortly that we share a lot of interests, and among them, first of all, music. Yes. Uh, we share this passion for music, not just music, but I believe for arts in general, mm -hmm. because you, it's it's not just like I like music, or somebody likes uh, painting, or you you have to love it all because that's what humans do. But music is my. Yes. Passion among the arts. Yes, and it's what I know most about. Yes, and uh, I was I was so impressed when you uh, uh, offered me to listen some of your uh, piano uh, videos, and I was and and you know all of them by heart. Uh, yes, we're sitting right next to my piano right now. Yes, and and. Uh, it was like you you were learning all those. Uh, all those piano pieces when I was young? Yes, all those piano pieces when you were like young and it was like probably 50 or yes. 60. Or and by the way, that's that's a, a difference between us, our ages. I'm 80 years old. And, when I am 34. 34. When I'm just 34, so... And I'm a math teacher and that's a difference of, of uh, 46 years. I'm, so, I'm 46 years older than you. So, yes, but what really impressed me is your memory abilities, how you were able still to keep it in your memory, the things which you're like were learning, those piano pieces you were learning 40 years ago or even more. Right. Well, the truth is I've forgotten many of them, but I you as, still, as I have remembered many, I've also forgotten. You don't many. have paper, when you're playing that on your piano videos, you don't have papers in front of That's you. Right. Put, you're I, just playing by heart. By ear, it's called. Yes, yes, exactly. And, that, and, that and that's really impressed me. Uh, I was like, no way, this man has unbelievably uh, developed memory abilities. Well, it's just something I can do. <laughs> don't be shy, Edward. <laughs> don't okay. be shy. There is and, no reason and, to and be we shy. We both love classical music, and yes, your favorite composer is not the same as my favorite composer. Your favorite composer is, is... Mozart. My oh, favorite. Okay, Mozart's my favorite. Almost my favorite. Mo Mozart is my favorite composer. But with me, situation is quite uh, is quite. Uh, Strange. <laughs> okay, my favorite composer is Mozart, but my favorite uh, musical piece is not of Mozart's. <laughs> so uh, my favorite uh, piece of uh, music was uh, and is and this and this by Bach and this Goldberg variations and how we find out how I told you about that that we were I told you that um, there is a movie which I really like and which is actually my favorite movie. It's an English patient, uh, Anthony Minghella's movie. It's 1996 movie, I believe. It's like nearly 20 years ago when, when the movie was released. And uh, they, they have uh, the, Gold, the Bax Goldberg variations as part of the soundtrack to this movie. Mm -hmm. So basically... The first time in my life, like 20 years ago, nearly 20 years ago, when I heard Goldberg Variations, that was in that movie. 
And yeah. that's how, uh, that's where from I've learned about Goldberg variations. Well, well, tell me, how does Bach's Goldberg variations affect you? Uh, what does it do for you? Okay, I will put. I will try. I will try to keep it that way. When I feel happy, when I feel like really, like I'm really happy, or I, or I feel joy, or I feel happiness, I need Goldberg variations to to bring the it to, to to make equal because Goldberg variations bring I believe it, it it brings equality to like it equalizes your feelings and when you're sad you need to bring joy so I, I listen to Goldberg variations again for me they are like uh, for me they help me to keep this balance the Goldberg variations for me is the golden is a golden balance music. So they always bring me to the balance. Whenever I'm sad or whenever I'm happy, it keeps me being me. So you and I listened to the Goldberg variations here in my several times. And I did I did something nice for you because of your uh, liking for the gold, because of your love of Goldberg Variations. Yes, you presented me with a CD of Goldberg Variations yes. recorded and... And I also uh, gave you the use of means to play the CD. Yes, you... Including the use of a computer. Not and, just that, you... you and a sound. And uh, everything. And, and yeah. headphones. And, he and headphones, yes, sure. So that's something I but, did for you. But yes, with, with, with Goldberg variations, that was just fabulous. And I remember it was just before this happened, before you presented me this CD, several times I visited you and I've just asked, can we listen with, can we listen Goldberg variations? Can we listen Goldberg variations? You especially one more like about the first five minutes of First it. five minutes for me, it's just over the top. It's it's just the best music I can imagine. Right. It's just so perfect uh -huh. for me. Okay. And you and I are both professionals. Uh, we are both teachers. Yes, I would, I would, I would prefer to, to, to call it we are both professional teachers, not just professionals and not just teachers. We are both professional teachers, meaning professional and meaning teacher in the true understanding of both these terms. Like what, what we share on that is the understanding of the teacher's duties. Teacher is not the person who cares, who is on uh, hours basis. Teacher is the person who cares for the result. And the only thing which teacher should really care about is the result. <clears throat> and, and, and you're talking about teachers caring for their students, right? Yes, sure. The result is how their students have their progress after those lessons right. they've taken from the teacher. No matter what, what, what actually we talk about, it can be mathematics, it can be physics, it can be ballroom dancing, it can be anything or something. Right. But being a professional for me and I realize for you it's also care for your result. When you 100% sure that information you give to your student is accepted and observed and retained and everything, yes. Right. And, and part of my role as a teacher, for the, as a math teacher for the past 46 years has been to encourage students to, to think critically and to think logically, to use reason. Yes, uh, to, to use reason. That was mathematics, uh, that was probably what mathematics starts to teach even a younger, younger person, to start to think critically, to see uh, the world, the objects, and 
the, the way they are, not the, our fantasies or anything else allow us to, or imagination, uh, our imagination allows us to, to, to think what right. the things are about. Right. But what the real objects, like right. the reality. So we also share the visions of, of, of reality. But for me, the most important thing, uh, what we share, uh, is uh, the, the, the values, the core values, uh, the golden rule, we can call it the golden rule values, what the good person is. I remember us discussing uh, uh, what is good and what is bad, and how we find out that we're on the same page, that we consider what is good exactly Right. Yes, exactly the same. So what my understanding is absolutely in correspondence with 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 your understanding and vice versa. So right. we're on the same page, and that leads us to uh, our our friendship, which is based on um, it, it's okay. That's the computer's doing okay. Uh, how we we value our friendship and we value the time that we are able to spend with each other. We both have, have busy schedules that don't always match up, but t time is, 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 is an important factor here, right? Exactly. I agree with you. We, we both have a pretty busy schedules teaching. And uh, what, what I can say that for me, the, the, the most priceless thing which people can share with each other is it's time of their life, basically, it's life, what they share with each other. And what, uh, and <clears throat> we dedicated to each other the, the happiest moment we, we had, the, the fun, the joy, and, and everything else. Yeah, of course, t t today, you, today you had a great time uh, in an activity that did not include me at all. Some other friends of yours took you to the zoo and oh. you had a fabulous time there. You had a fabulous time without me, uh, which is which is great. It was great of them to invite you to the zoo. And he, you said it was one of the, an extraordinarily happy it event was, for you. It was, uh, uh, yes, that's true. So, uh, so it's... It, speaking, of, uh, speaking of my uh, daily based routine, uh, I even couldn't imagine that somebody will invite me to go to the zoo on the weekend and when they offered me I was yes sure I would be glad to go to the zoo because last time I went to zoo it was like three years ago and I really missed that uh, I like the, to go to the zoo. Right. So so I'm, I'm happy for the for that time that you spent with others, so it doesn't our, our friendship doesn't rule out time, <laughs> time spent with others. No, it's it it's it, it, it even it, when I was back when I was back from the zoo, the first thing I decided to do is just to go and meet you and share with you how how great it was to go to the zoo and how I and enjoyed to see, it to see snakes and tigers S and uh, snakes and tigers and white croc right white croc it was right. so unusual i've never seen white crocodile in my life so okay well this is my was my idea to uh that we make this video, and I wasn't sure if you would think it was a good idea, but uh, I I had a desire to introduce you to anybody who's interested, and uh, it's been a rather long uh, conversation for a YouTube video, but I I hope that I hope that you all have enjoyed meeting my friend Ruslan, uh, and it's a, a great pleasure for me to have this friendship. I don't make friends easily uh, face to face and so that, that's one reason why this friendship means a great deal to me. Thank you so much Edward. I uh, when 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 uh, you offered me to make this friendly video of us 
I was so excited about that because honestly, I've never done, I, I've never had such an experiences in my life. Uh, so it was very first experience and I know it is successful experience because I enjoyed it so much. Great. Well, I hope that, that uh, you viewers have enjoyed it also. <laughs> and uh, I say to you viewers, thank you very much for watching it. And thank you very much for watching us. <laughs>